In the night sky, just 20 light years away, lies a planet that may harbor liquid water, one of the essential ingredients for life. This exciting possibility has scientists eager to learn more about HD 27794 d, a newly confirmed super-Earth orbiting a sun-like star within its habitable zone. In this video, we'll explore how this discovery was confirmed, what we know about the planet, and its implications for future space exploration. The story of HD 20794 d began in 2022 when Dr. Michael Crenier from the University of Oxford detected an unusual signal while analyzing archive data from the HARPS, High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, spectrograph at La Silla Observatory in Chile. The weak signal suggested the presence of an exoplanet, but it was close to the detection limits of the instrument, making it hard to distinguish from stellar activity or instrumental noise. Instead of dismissing the signal, an international team of researchers set out to confirm its existence. By analyzing over two decades of data from HARPS and Espresso, another powerful spectrograph in Chile, scientists detected tiny shifts in the star's light spectrum caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. However, confirming its presence wasn't easy. Researchers had to filter out noise, eliminate distortions, and ensure the signal wasn't a false positive. After years of meticulous data analysis, they finally verified the planet's existence. So, what makes HD 20794D so intriguing? First, its location. Orbiting a G-type star similar to our Sun in the constellation Eridanus, it's just 20 light years away, relatively close in cosmic terms. This proximity increases the chances that future space telescopes will study it in detail. One of the most exciting aspects of this planet is its placement within the habitable zone, where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. However, there's a catch. Its orbit isn't stable and circular like Earth's. Instead, it follows an elliptical path, meaning its distance from the star varies significantly. This eccentric orbit could lead to dramatic climate shifts. When HD 20794D moves closer to its star, intense heat might evaporate any surface water. Conversely, as it drifts farther away, temperatures could plummet, freezing any remaining water. If the planet has a dense atmosphere, it might regulate these temperature swings, increasing the chances of habitability. However, without direct observations of its atmosphere, its true potential for supporting life remains uncertain. In terms of size and composition, HD 20794D is classified as a super-Earth with six times the mass of our planet. Yet, scientists are unsure whether it has a solid rocky surface or if it's a mini Neptune with a thick gaseous atmosphere. A rocky surface with a stable atmosphere could provide Earth-like conditions. But if the planet is rich in hydrogen and helium, it may resemble Neptune, making it less hospitable. Advanced telescopes will analyze its atmosphere for biosignatures, chemical indicators of life, such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. Detecting these could mark one of humanity's greatest discoveries. The confirmation of HD 20794D adds another compelling candidate to the search for habitable exoplanets. However, its elliptical orbit presents challenges, as fluctuating distances from its star could create extreme temperature variations. A thick atmosphere, or strong greenhouse effect, might help stabilize its climate and sustain liquid water. Without these factors, rapid shifts between heating and freezing could make habitability unlikely. Geological activity is another crucial factor. On Earth, volcanic activity and an active interior help regulate climate and sustain life. If HD 20794D is geologically active, it could replenish its atmosphere and maintain stable conditions. However, if it lacks a strong magnetic field, stellar winds could gradually strip its atmosphere away reducing its habitability. Other exoplanets have also sparked interest due to their potential for life. Proxima Centauri b, just 4.2 light years away, is the closest known exoplanet in a habitable zone. However, it orbits a red dwarf star, which emits intense radiation that could erode its atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system, about 40 light years away, features seven Earth-sized planets, three of which, TRAPPIST-1, E, F, and G, reside in the habitable zone. But these worlds are tidally locked, meaning in one side always faces their star, while the other remains in darkness. 
A well-balanced atmosphere could mitigate this, creating stable conditions for life. Another strong contender is Kepler 442b, located 1,200 light years away. It's considered one of the most Earth-like exoplanets, receiving about 70% of the sunlight Earth does, suggesting temperatures that could support liquid water. Similarly, TOI 700d, a rocky exoplanet 100 light years away, orbits an M dwarf star with fewer solar flares than most red dwarfs, increasing the likelihood of atmospheric retention. While these exoplanets show promise, the next step is determining whether they actually harbor life. Upcoming telescopes like NASA's Habitable Worlds, Observatory, the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, and the LIFE mission will study distant planets' atmospheres, searching for biosignatures such as oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Detecting these gases in the right balance could be a strong indication of biological activity. Interstellar probes could revolutionize exoplanet research. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot, Propose sending light-powered spacecraft to explore exoplanets such as Proxima Centauri b. If successful, similar missions could target HD 20794d, allowing us to study distant worlds up close. Ultimately, the discovery of HD 20794d contributes to one of the biggest questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? With billions of stars and planets, it seems increasingly likely that habitable worlds are common. The challenge lies in detecting them and proving that life exists elsewhere. For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars and wondered if we are alone in the universe. The search for extraterrestrial life has shifted from philosophical speculation to a rigorous scientific endeavor, driven by advancements in astronomy, astrobiology, and space exploration. With the discovery of thousands of exoplanets, some within habitable zones, and the development of sophisticated observational tools, we may be on the verge of answering this age-old question. But how close are we really to detecting alien life? And what challenges still stand in the way? The search for life beyond Earth has reached an unprecedented era of precision and capability. A few decades ago, the existence of exoplanets was purely theoretical, and now, we have confirmed over 5,500 planets, orbiting distant stars, with many more awaiting confirmation. The ability to identify Earth-like worlds, planets with the right conditions for liquid water, has rapidly accelerated thanks to missions like Kepler, TESS, Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, and the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. But the real breakthrough isn't just finding planets, it's detecting the right chemical signatures excerpt in their atmospheres that could indicate biological activity. JWST has already demonstrated its capability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres through spectroscopy, detecting carbon dioxide, methane, and even hints of water vapor on some distant worlds. However, these findings, while promising, are just the first steps. The true test will be identifying biosignatures, molecular evidence that suggests life is actively shaping a planet's environment, oxygen, methane, ozone, and other compounds in the right proportions could indicate biological processes at work. Despite rapid advancements, there are still major hurdles preventing us from confirming extraterrestrial life. The primary challenge is that most exoplanets are incredibly far away. Even our closest exoplanetary neighbor, Yastes Proxima Centauri Bay Sedenicores, is Wafuros 4.2 light years away, an almost insurmountable distance using current propulsion technology. This means that all of our observations rely on indirect methods, such as analyzing how light interacts with a planet's atmosphere when it passes in front of its star. While these techniques are powerful, they are limited in precision and can sometimes lead to ambiguous results. Another problem is Swirskis or Soor, or false positives, or a. Many gases that we associate with life can also be produced through geological and chemical processes. For example, methane, a gas commonly linked to biological activity, can be generated by volcanic activity. Or reactions between water and rock. Similarly, oxygen, which is a key component of Earth's biosphere, 
can also accumulate in an atmosphere without life due to photodissociation, a process where ultraviolet light breaks apart water molecules, releasing oxygen. Without direct sampling, distinguishing between biotic and abiotic sources remains a challenge. To truly determine if we are alone, we need more powerful observational tools. Upcoming telescopes like NASA's Habitable Worlds, Observatory, HWO, the European Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, and the Life Finder mission. will be game changers in the search for life. These instruments will offer unprecedented sensitivity in analyzing exoplanet atmospheres, allowing scientists to detect biosignatures with far greater accuracy. One of the most anticipated missions is LUVOIR, Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, a proposed space telescope capable of directly imaging Earth-like exoplanets. Unlike JWST, which primarily uses indirect methods, LUVOIR would allow astronomers to directly observe exoplanets and study their atmospheres in incredible detail. Another ambitious project, Breakthrough Starshot, aims to send a fleet of tiny light-powered spacecraft to nearby exoplanets, potentially reaching Proxima Centauri b within a few decades. While still in the conceptual phase, such missions could provide the first direct exploration of another world beyond our solar system. Given the vast number of habitable planets, the question arises, if life is common in the universe, why haven't we found any evidence of it yet? This paradox, known as the Fermi Paradox, remains one of the most perplexing questions in science. There are several possible explanations, each with profound implications. One possibility is that life is rare, not because habitable planets are uncommon, but because the emergence of life requires an extraordinary set of conditions that go beyond what we currently understand. Perhaps Earth is an anomaly where a perfect balance of chemistry, plate tectonics, a strong magnetic field, and stable climate allowed life to flourish. Another explanation is the Great Filter Hypothesis, which suggests that at some point in the evolution of life, there is a nearly insurmountable barrier that prevents civilizations from reaching an advanced stage. This filter could be at the beat beginning. Perhaps life itself is extremely difficult to start, or it could be at the end, space, meaning that intelligent civilizations tend to self-destruct before they can explore the galaxy. If the latter is true, it raises existential concerns about humanity's own future. A third possibility is that alien civilizations are deliberately avoiding us, or are simply too advanced to be detected. If an extraterrestrial species were millions of years ahead of us, their technology could be indistinguishable from natural cosmic phenomena. Alternatively, they may observe a policy of non-interference, much like a cosmic prime directive, ensuring that less developed civilizations remain unaware of their presence. The discovery of extraterrestrial life, whether microbial or intelligent, would be the most profound scientific breakthrough in human history. The implications would extend far beyond astronomy, reshaping philosophy, religion, and even geopolitics. If we find simple microbial life on a nearby exoplanet or within our own solar system, such as in the subsurface oceans of Europa or Enceladus, it would suggest that life is relatively common and can arise under a variety of conditions. This would drastically increase the likelihood that intelligent life exists elsewhere. On the other hand, if we discover an advanced extraterrestrial civilization, the consequences would be even more dramatic. How would humanity react? Would nations unite in response? Or would there be conflicts over how to engage? The SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, Community has already debated the ethical and practical aspects of responding to an alien signal. Should we send a reply? If so, what should we say? The uncertainty surrounding these questions highlights the profound impact that a discovery of this magnitude would have on global society. While we have not yet found definitive proof of extraterrestrial life, the search has never been more promising. Within the next 10 to 20 years, A or Oemga, the combined efforts of ground-based and space-based telescopes, interstellar probes, and advances in artificial intelligence will push the boundaries of what we can detect. 
The discovery of biosignatures on an exoplanet or microbial life within our own solar system could happen in our lifetime. Ultimately, the question of whether we are alone is not just about science, it is about our place in the cosmos. Whether we find alien microbes, intelligent civilizations, or nothing at all, the search itself is a testament to human curiosity and the relentless drive to understand our universe. As technology advances and our reach extends further into space, we may finally get the answer we have been searching for. Until then, we continue to look up at the stars, knowing that every new discovery brings us closer to understanding the greatest mystery of all. Are we truly alone? Thank you for watching. Stay curious and keep looking up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content on space, science, and the mysteries of the universe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest discoveries. Let us know in the comments which exoplanet you think has the best chance of hosting life. We'd love to hear your thoughts.